Hey, what's up, guys? I know it's been a while. I've been, I haven't posted anything for a few weeks, man. Like, you know, like I said before, I was going, I'm going through a lot of things, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of this. I'm trying to gonna try to get some more videos out. So today, I'm just going to do a quick little video here. I'm just going to go through my toolbox, do a little toolbox tour, and tell you some things I like about this 72-inch Harbor Freight toolbox and some things I don't like about it. And we'll make this real quick and then I'll try to get back into the swing of things, start doing some more views and everything. And I appreciate you guys watching, waiting, hanging on, and we'll get it back together. So let's start off here. We're going to start off with the top drawer. You can see here I got my sockets in this socket tray. This is a Mako socket tray and these are magnetic right here, which I like. And this is probably my favorite socket tray right now. I really like it. You see I have these two, and you can see I've taken a lot of sockets out of here. I've actually went through, I've sold quite a bit of my tools and actually sold the Harbor Freight five-drawer tool cart recently. I've had to pay some bills and whatnot. And Well, anyway, we're going to get it all back, but I just had to get rid of a few things. Plus, I needed to downgrade anyway. I really didn't need... All of the tools that I had I had a bunch of just cheap tools that I don't really use so it didn't hurt me to sell them now I did if we're gonna look over here if you've seen my other videos then you've seen all the DeWalt cordless tools I've had as far as the half inch impact 3 8 impact DeWalt drills a lot of different things well I've actually went through and I've sold a lot of my DeWalt cordless tools as well and batteries and I do still have a couple batteries left and I also have the DeWalt grinder left but I've sold the saws all all the impacts because I'm going to be switching to Milwaukee here soon and I'm but I'm going to keep the DeWalt 60 volt line as far as the grinder goes and my weed eater I'm going to keep both of those because I think they're great tools and I like using them but at this point, I think Milwaukee is outperforming DeWalt just based off of my experience with them. If you like DeWalt better than Milwaukee, then there's there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not dogging nobody. So let's get back over here. And we'll look here. I've got, these are actually gear wrench, torque sets, Allen sets. They're pretty cheap. I bought them on Amazon. I can't remember the price, but it's pretty cheap. I can link them down below. If I remember, and you see here I got the Ingersoll 3 8 air ratchet, die grinder, 3 8 air impact. Here I got all my ratchets here, the Mako, Snap-on, Craftsman, and here's the Icon breaker bar. I did something now. I'm going to tell you. We talked before when I did the Icon review and I said that I believe that the Icon was probably of a higher grade metal than the Pittsburgh Pro and I said I couldn't prove it. Well, I'm going to try to prove it. I'm going to build something. I'm going to make do a test and we're going to test a bunch of things. We're going to test ratchets, wrenches. We're going to test the breaking points on these things and we're going to see if it's worth to pay $150, $130 for a ratchet versus a $20 Pittsburgh Pro ratchet or same thing with the wrenches, breaker bars, everything else. We're going to test them all and I'm going to break a bunch of stuff and we'll be able to test the warranty out as well by doing that. So here you see here I got this Craftsman pass through set. Let's go ahead and move down a drawer. I need to speed this up a little bit. This is just a little drawer here. I got some extra things in. I got my bolt extractors, got my carbide bits here, screw extractors. I got my tap drivers here. I got my snap-on torque wrench here. I got some stud pullers that I bought a while back. And just a couple little odds and ends things. This is the this is my drill extractor set I got, my Hansen set that I mentioned before and didn't show it in a video. Okay, here we got here. We got my all my wrenches here. I got the snap-on set right here. I got some Pittsburgh ones up here. I got this gear wrench flex head set right here, which is a pretty good set. I got the Mako reversible ratcheting wrench set. I got some Craftsman flare wrenches right here. Craftsman double box end wrenches right here. My Mako pry bars. These are good pry bars. I like them. I got an old SK Tools adjustable wrench right here. Okay, now this is all my screwdrivers we've seen before and people 
say, what do you need all these screwdrivers for? Because I, I want to have them. <laughs> it's my money, man. But anyway, here we go. And also got this pick set here. This is a gear wrench pick set. This is a pretty good set. I think it runs about $30. You get a pretty good assortment here. I can link that down below too. They're pretty, they're pretty high quality. And we got the Weeha, the Tech in here still. Got the Craftsman. I got the other, the rest of these Craftsman diamond tip screwdrivers are over here. Um, the Snap-on screwdrivers. This gear wrench set. This is a good set. Okay, then here I got my compression tester kit, cylinder leakage test, vacuum pressure gauge, bearing, racing seal, driver set. You see here I got all my pliers and everything, and I got them in this holder right here this is my favorite style holder to hold pliers i'm gonna i wanted to do a review on how to organize and hold pliers and whatnot and as i've said before i love the knit packs i have mostly knit packs right through here i got a craftsman mixed in there i got the klein here but for the most part i like knit packs Got this ridge reamer right here let me get some more light for you i'm blocking your light i got the heat gun here ridge reamer here you know what this is it's a depth gauge extension set here my dial board gauge got a spring compressor tool here i got some mics here just some cheap mics i bought a while back but i have better mics uh, we'll get to over here as well but this is a pretty good set and it runs around 150 dollars or something you get from zero to six so i mean it's a, it's a pretty good set i haven't had any problems with it have my wilton hammer here got my vacuum brake breeder here harmonic balancer puller and installer this oh these otc brand pullers installers and everything that you've seen like here the cylinder testers and everything here those are pretty high quality i can put a link down for them too then this here is for installing your rods. These go over top of the bolts so you don't scratch your cylinder walls. I never even opened it. I bought it. I planned on doing this rebuild of this 350. I never got around to it. It's, it's really not worth the money. Why I didn't get around to it. It's not worth the money for me to spend to rebuild this because I can't get that much out of it. And the horsepower that nowadays engines are putting out you know it's cool to have for the old 350s and whatnot but for the hor for the amount of horsepower that a ls engine could put out straight out the gate it's it's not worth it to build one of them unless you just like the old school stuff which there's nothing wrong with that either oh here's the other craftsman screwdrivers i was talking about i got my test light here this is a good test light and I got here, I got my aluminum rigid pipe wrench, three quarter inch craftsman, some bolt cutters. Think got those from Harbor Freight. Then here I got my soldering set here, wire crimpers, wire strippers. That's the rest of the kit for the soldering iron. Pretty good kit. And down here I've got an extension. Got this socket accessory set here i got from uh sears i think with some free money then i got my power probe and also got my power probe short finder now that's the power probe this is the short finder right here and i haven't had much luck with that but i think i figured it out i, I want to do a review on that too they actually do work if you know what you're doing which i didn't know when i was doing for a long time but i figured it out i think we'll see and I got here, I got a starter. I got my timing light here. Good timing light. Really don't need something like that. I spent the money on it and I got it, but I really didn't need it. Here I got some speeder wrenches, pickle fork, seal puller right here. Then here you see I got some starred stuff. Matoyo. This, this is mostly all my precision equipment. This is just a junk drawer here. See, I got the stethoscope. The snap ring puller here. I got the inside trim pullers here. Here you can see, I got a Fowler dial indicator here. Some more stared stuff. This is some Craftsman stuff. I had Allen wrenches and whatnot. Here, got a bunch of taps, some more starred stuff. Outside mics and drill bits right here as well. 
And here I got my drill bits in there. I got a 12 inch dial indicator. This is an old snap-on box. I bought it at an auction. It had some tools in it, but I've took about everything out of it. Got some extra extensions in this drawer. Then down here, I got my power steering pump puller set. This set actually didn't do me very good. Uh, it actually doesn't even work. I ended up going to Harbor Freight and having to buy one to finish a job I was doing one time. And I just still got this, but it's, it's, I broke it. Then I got my pipe tap set right here. I bought this on Amazon as well. You can see here. Go all the way up to an inch, I believe. Yeah, one eighth to an inch. Then here I got my quick disconnect set. It's an Astro set I bought. I had some more extra ones too up here. Right here I bought at one time. And I think that's about it. You can see up top here, I got my dial indicator here. This is a, a Craftsman Harley Davidson box I bought a while back that I think I got it with the money that Sears gives you. I, I think I got it for like 15 or $20. So, I mean, I, I like the looks of it, so I bought it. And you can still see here, I still got that Hercules drill I'm planning on giving away at some point. Hopefully in the near future. Talk about this 72 inch box here real quick. They're all, it is a pretty good box. I paid a thousand dollars for it. And for a box that size, it's, it, it's a pretty decent box. What I didn't like about it, as you can see here, I've talked about before, this trim right here is loose. And these drawers where these locks right here, it will get caught on that. And if you see over here, the piece of trim that was here, when, it, as soon as I got it straight off the bat, it was catching, it was pulling, and it eventually just pulled it off. But you see, I got a lot of scuffs and everything. I've moved this thing quite a bit, and it's held up pretty good. It's been sitting here, I think I want to say it's two years old. So it's been around for a minute. It's set in storage for a while. I moved it here, I've scratched it, I've tore it up, I've banged it, I've had stuff stacked on top of it. It's held up pretty well. The casters are heavy duty. Oh, and down here I have a bunch of other stuff too. Let's take a look real quick. This is a cam bearing installer puller set that I got. I have used that. I used it on a 5.9 five, bolt port one time. There's a slide hammer set OTC. And got a box here. I think this is an inner tie rod kit, yeah. Okay. And I have a Milwaukee Sawzall under there, it looks like. Corded Milwaukee Sawzall. Ever since these cordless tools, man, I, I, I hard barely, if, if I don't have to use a corded tool, I don't use them anymore. I prefer to use cordless. This is an old Craftsman's USA set that I had gotten from an auction for pretty cheap. This here is, I believe, it's a ball bearing press kit. Yeah, this is a ball bearing press kit I bought from Harbor Freight. These are not very good. They cost money. This is actually the second one I got. I got the first one, it bent. I took it back, got this one, and they actually gave me a little grief about it. This was a couple years ago, but I took it back, I got this one. And this one as well, you can see here, it bends and it will, when it presses out, it won't press out straight, but it still works at this point, but they're not very good. I wouldn't buy one. This is a wheel set. I got wheel lug, wheel drive nut set that I got from Harbor Freight as well. It goes all the way up to 38 millimeters from 29 millimeters all three eighths as well and it's a brake flare tool kit gear wrench that I got pretty good set some more craftsman old craftsman tools I got from the auction and this is all Hitachi finished nail gun pretty good nail gun 
I bought that from Home Depot or Lowe's one. And I think that's about, yeah, I think that's about it. So I drug all that out. All right, so I try to make this quick as possible, guys. I appreciate you watching. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get back in the swing of things. I appreciate you hanging around. I appreciate everything. Try to get this posted today and we'll get started. I'll do some more videos. We'll get it going again. So until next time, man, stay real.